Hello, everybody. Are we live? Yeah, I think we are. Uh, can anyone hear me? Can you type in, in the comments below if you can hear me? That would be wonderful. Uh, so before I go live and talk about today's topic, first, I need to actually share my live on my Facebook group and on my Facebook profile. Uh, why is that? It's because of a one cool thing called um, gathering views. I'll talk about it today and about uh, retargeting and how e-commerce business owners or marketers are leaving money on the table because they're not using Facebook's dynamic retargeting ads. So first, let me just share this a wonderful live in my... Uh, to my group and let's see how it will look like actually bear with me I'm a little slow with this okay there we go one for all okay so this that's that is it then let's go and Take this link. Okay. Let's go here. Let's refresh this. Let's copy this link and then we're going to post it on my Facebook. So that way everybody can see me. That's what I actually want. I want more viewers, you know. I want to be famous in this world, in this uh, world filled with um, advertisers and digital marketing. There you go. Okay, so now this is posted. Okay, perfect. So you can hear me well. Awesome. Let's start. Why won't we? So today's live, I'm going to talk about... Um, about how one of my clients actually didn't include Facebook ads, Facebook retargeting, dynamic retargeting in their ads. And they were kind of leaving money on the table because they were not using that. Uh, but before I go into that story, I would just like to mention that I have a masterclass called the rdmethod.com. Go there and you can actually see the full structure and how I created this campaign that I'll actually talk about right now. So let's get down to business. What this client, this client was, um, global, so it was a client that they were selling uh, eco-friendly yoga mats and they were really like um, famous worldwide and they had a lot of traffic. They have a re pretty okay website. They had really good campaigns pulling out cold traffic, which means people that never saw, saw their brand or they saw their brand for the first time in their life, their wonderful life. And they were getting pretty decent results, like two, three times return on ad spend, which is great, which is really, really not bad. So, but when I've seen the ads and I went into the ads manager and I kind of saw the structure of campaigns, I saw they weren't using Facebook retargeting ads. So on my past live, I actually mentioned uh, something called custom audiences and when people actually go to the website and they see a product, they click on add to cart, they go to the cart and they kind of leave the website because I don't know, maybe their babies are crying so they need to tend to them or maybe they i don't know their dog is barking and needs to go out you know like everybody has their own needs so <clears throat> yeah and if you have facebook pixel installed on installed on that website it will track you that you went to that cart and then with facebook ads retargeting campaign you can actually retarget those people and just tell them like hey you forgot something like would you like to buy it or here is a five percent discount like buy it now or you can add something called scarcity <clears throat> like um it's only like here, here is here is 50 50 percent discount it's only available for the next 24 hours so this is how you kind of pull back 
all the traffic that went some someplace else or they exited your website and they forgot to buy a product so it's a really easy and cool way to kind of get a lot of really nice potential income that you are leaving on the table so what i did for these clients this specific client sorry this specific client it's not s it's not multiple unfortunately no i'm just kidding so yeah for this specific client they wanted to test my skills which is okay i understand clients need to see if i'm the real deal is my team the real deal what will happen so they gave me a small budget i think it was around fifty hundred dollars and they asked me like robert can you can you show us what you can do like hey set this set the ads up we'll provide you with content and everything just set the ads up what i did was go to their instagram profile and then found the most engaging posts images videos whatever usually i use a combination but i used images for this one and I use something called dynamic ads. I'll explain them a little bit later. So I use the most engaging images. I've set up custom audiences. You can set up, set them up in the Facebook ads manager. Um, and what you can do here is actually pull the data, like pull and create custom audiences based on people that viewed the, uh, viewed the product, uh, added something to the cart, went to the checkout, or even bought something. So this is how you segment those audiences. You can even go real like into detail. And if you want to see my structure, you can go to the rdmethod.com link and you will see the whole structure and how I did it. So you can actually separate them based on how many days were on your website. Like um, you can separate them by seven days, 30 days, 15 days. So whatever time period you want to pull out from your Google Pixel, like from the data. And then you can show them some other ads and you can retarget them. So with Google, uh, sorry, not Google, uh, Google, I just mentioned the competitors, them. So with uh, Facebook dynamic ads, you can actually set up something called a uh, Facebook catalog. So if you, if you set up a Facebook catalog, it will automatically pull out all of your products, uh, products, images, descriptions, prices, discounts, whatever you want. So you have a Facebook catalog and you have all the data from your website on Facebook. And if you put a retargeting ad, you can actually target people that checked the exact, so they checked, let's say three products. It's a yoga mat, yoga pants, and yoga shirt, for example. And if, if you set up a dynamic ad using Facebook catalog, you can actually show them the exact products they've seen or viewed or they've added it to the cart, which is insane. Do you know what I'm getting? Do you see where I'm getting at? The conversion rates were through the roof for this client because you're showing the exact product to potential customers that most probably will buy or they just forgot to buy this item, product, whatever you want to call it. So using dynamic ads, you can actually show the same products they viewed. And it's, it's usually shown in a carousel ad where you have multiple images and you can scroll left or right, or it's a collection ad where you can kind of click it and then it will pop up like a small menu um it will be on facebook directly so they don't even have to go to your website but if they want to buy the product they have to click on it and then they will buy the product now i've heard something about facebook creating a um, facebook store and instagram shop where you can buy directly on facebook but we'll see what will happen so this is how you increase your click-through rates your ROAS. the ROAS for this client was 24 so for each dollar spent, they earn $24 back. So that was the return on ad spend or how we call it ROAS. So dynamic ads are powerful, but what, what we have also done was pull out those Instagram, Instagram posts that I mentioned and created another set of retargeting ads and the ROAS was around five to 10. So we managed to re-engage people that, um, 
So we kind of segmented people into who were just engaging with the page and people who were actually on the page and doing something. So with this Instagram posts, we, we are actually re-engaging people that were engaging with the web, uh, with the Facebook page, Instagram profile, and we were kind of throwing them, well, not throwing them, we were kind of funneling them to the website. And then with dynamic ads, we were showing them uh, we were showing them the exact products they kind of viewed or wanted to buy. Uh, the really important thing to mention here is there were no discounts. So that was the first thing to mention. There were no discounts. And usually on retargeting ads, you use discounts, scarcity, um, something called FOMO, fearing of missing out, like, hey, only 10, 10 coupons or only for first 10, you know, this is a special offer. So there were no discounts. And why is that? Why did it work so well? Because this client was actually a global brand. It was a really well-known brand and retargeting ads work really, really well. And this is what I do for my clients. I can promise them 100% return on ad spend if they have traffic on their website, if they're somewhat um somewhat kind of not let's say, not, let, let's not say famous but recognizable brand we can give them results in the first 24 hours with these type of retargeting dynamic ads so i hope uh you will implement them even if you are an e-commerce business owner or a facebook marketer that uh, has e-commerce clients uh implement this retargeting customer uh, retargeting ads use custom audiences and get the ROAS you actually deserve. Uh, that is all if you really, really want to see the exact setup, the exact template, and how I set it up for this specific client in this live, go to the therdmethod.com and then see my masterclass. You will also have a link down below this video. Um, hope, hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, ask them and I'll gladly answer them. Bye.